Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I had this mini epiphany, and by mini, it was actually kind of major, but I knew that as soon as I felt this kind of shift within me that the first thing I wanted to do, of course, was to come onto my YouTube channel and share it with you guys. Because if I felt this in a powerful way, I'm sure that there's someone else that would be able to feel it in the same way that it kind of impacted me. And what this has to do with is the energy and the space of letting go. We're in this space where we kind of hold on to status quo. And what happens is when we do that, we block blessings because our hands are so filled with whatever it is that we're holding on to that we can't accept more for ourselves, nor can we give to others. So I was really sitting with spirit. I was really sitting with myself. This question came through and the question was like just, what is it that you are holding on to? Like, what is it that you're actually holding on to? And my logical brain and my inner child, like the inner wounded child was, oh, I'm holding on to this person, or I'm holding on to this thing, or I'm holding on to this expectation. This is it, this is all I want. This is everything that it is that I wanted. How could you not see it? Why would you even ask me that? Even as I was reacting to that, my spirit, my spiritual self, my spirit self asked the question again, quieter and said Jess what is it that you are holding on to and then the juvenile side of my brain was like is this a trick question but the wheels started turning because the question was asked and because that question was asked I wanted to give an answer because I knew that this was going to be a transformative moment for me and when you ask yourself what is it that you're holding on to? What the universe is asking you and what your higher self is asking you is the energy of whatever it is that you're holding on to at that, at that moment. So let's say it's a person. If you're holding on to a person or this relationship and you're looking at this relationship, from surface level, you understand that you love this person, probably maybe, maybe unconditionally. You can see the potential of the relationship. There's something about them that you find charming or unique or quirky and you just adore it. And that's okay and that's understandable. It happens to all of us. But if the relationship is, for example, toxic or unrequited or off balance, that too comes with that person. So what it is that you love about that person or that aspect of the relationship or the relationship as a whole is actually pretty surface level. So let's say the universe is guiding you to let go of this relationship because, for example, the relationship is toxic or it's unrequited love. So you can see that this person is funny, you can see that this person is handsome, you can see the memories that you guys had together and how wonderful that was. And all of those things are, are profound and they are important, but again, they're surface level. The reality is, is that the, the universe is showing you that this relationship, what this person brings to you is unrequited love, it's giving you stress, it's giving you anxiety, it's making you uncomfortable, it's making you self-doubt, it's making you question yourself, it's making you insecure. The energy of all of that is what you're actually holding on to, not the person. So when the universe asks you, or when spirit asks you, what is it that you're holding on to, it's not the package of the person or the package of the relationship, it's the energy of it. That energy is what it is that you are choosing. So when the universe works with energy and works with this undercurrent of a vibration that is felt in everything, when the universe sees that and says that this energy is potent in a way that is toxic to you or not good for you or not serving to you, that is when it will ask you to let go. But it's hard for us and it's hard for you and sometimes and it's hard for me because I'm seeing the person, I'm seeing the package, I'm seeing the expectation, I'm seeing the memory. But while I'm holding on to that and gripping onto it, I'm also simultaneously holding on to the energy of whatever is found within that package. That package of a person, that package of a relationship, that package of a job, that package of an expectation. So it's in those moments when the universe or when God, this higher power, is actually working in your best interest and asking you to let go of that. Because again, sometimes we love, especially when you are so invested in something and you love something or you want something so badly, you can see it 
you could see the shell of it. What it is that you're looking at? And a lot of times it's the shell of it, but the universe works with energy. So if it sees that what it is that you are holding onto this shell, if you crack it open and if you look within, we're not talking about potential, we're talking about present. What does it look like now? So when you let go of something, you give it the space, the freedom to change. You give it, you give the energy of what is found within that thing, the space, the energy, and the time to change and to, and to transform if that is what is in its destiny. And if it's not in its destiny, then you don't want it. You really don't want that energy within your life. I mean, you if you if you love the shell of that thing, then you know you can find that shell. A shell is easily replaceable. Not to say that people are replaceable or things are replaceable, but it's energy. When you let go, and if that thing is destined to transform and to shift, to fit you, to fit your vibe, and to fit your expectation and what it is that you want and see for yourself, then you letting go actually gives that thing, the time, the space, the energy in order to shape shift and to mold and to change on its own accord, on its own decision. Because there's nothing that you can do in order to change this thing. It's going to do it regardless, you know, if it wants to or if it doesn't want to. But there's nothing you can do. It has to make the, the choice to change. So the moral of the story is, just to make this really short and sweet and to the point, is that when the universe, when the divine, when spirit is calling you to let go of things, it's validating that, yeah, you know, you can see, you're looking at the shell of it. So you're looking at, you know, the case of it, how it's packaged. And something about the packaging caught your eye. Something about how it is or how it approached you or how, the, how it looks or how it feels, something about that caught your eye. But just like anything can be replicated, just like any packaging can be re re replicated, you can find that thing in another person, another opportunity, another potential, but with better energy, energy that resonates, energy that is ready, energy that is capable, energy that is willing, energy that is open, energy that will thrive, that's what the universe is working with. It's not thinking about packaging. It's thinking about substance. What is the energy of whatever it is that you're holding on to? And I'm saying the word energy again and again and again. It's because I don't have a better word to describe it right now. But that was my epiphany that I had the other day. And I just wanted to really quickly thank Spirit for coming through to me during my meditation and speaking to me in that way and just helping me in any decision that it is that I make or any moment in my life that I have to decide or I'm called by the universe to kind of let go and let God. It's because the universe can see again that we're sometimes we're just caught by the packaging of something or we see it for the shell of it, but the universe sees it as so much more and sometimes when you when you choose to hold on to something you're holding on to more than just the packaging. You're holding on to more than just the shell or the potential of it. There is a vibe to it. There is an essence to it. And when you hold on to that, you're also holding on to that. So when the universe asks you to let go, it is always for your highest and best good. All right, you guys. So I hope that as simple and as quick as that message was that it hit you at the perfect time in your life because it really settled on me in a moment of stillness and I just had like a huge aha moment and I didn't realize it until this morning, <laughs> like until like after the fact. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your notifications, that way you're notified as soon as a video comes up because there's plenty more videos where this came from. I'm sending you all of my love. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.